Hi Virgo. I will be doing an intuitive six card spread for you. So we have the Empress. The Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Star card, beautiful, and the Ten of Cups. A lot of family, a lot of people, a lot of focus on relationships, pets, children, fame, fertility, intimacy, sexuality this month. Definitely starting off with the Empress card in the top left. Here she is, a beautiful indicator and bringer of abundance, joy, happiness, fertility, bliss, intuitiveness motherly figures around you, esoteric arts, uh, definitely coming through as an earth sign. This could indicate an earth sign is around you or this could indicate you, Virgo. You are an earth sign. This is you in your element this month. The Empress also represents if this is in a relationship that you are quite fertile in your relationship. There could be news of a pregnancy or trying to get pregnant. It's certainly in the stars for you for this month. Also with the Empress card, I'm sensing that there's some sort of uh, gathering regarding your partner. Your partner could be a fire sign. There could be an air sign that's coming through quite strongly. There's a, there's a bit of water in these charts also. So this indicates emotional uh, happiness, judging by the other cards. There's a lot of emotional uh, upliftment this month. Unity, reunions, uh, talking with a lot of people you haven't talked before, people being put in your path for a reason. You know, you've got the star card here, a beautiful card that serves as a reminder that fate is putting people, places, family members in our path, in our destiny. So there's a lot of reunion to that. This also indicates to me that there's uh, a, a reunion of some sort with, with a potential loved one. I'm not sure if your loved one is overseas or you've just, you have a reunion with a, with a partner of yours and his in-laws come along. It's things like that. But this indicates if you are single, you're very, very attractive this month. And a lot of people are noticing you because the star card is here. This is people noticing you from afar. This is people, you know, being sexually ignited by you. You know, they feel this fire around you and they have to approach you here with the Knight of Wands. And I feel like it's destiny. Whoever you're meeting this month, they're in your path for a reason. Whether it's to teach you things with the King of Swords whether it's to bring this sexual energy to you with the Empress. Some people purely just want that. Not everyone wants that committed, stable relationship. Some people just like floating around and have a sense of empowerment, getting to know people and, you know, being sexually open with them. And if that's for you, then that's for you. All you have to do is protect yourself. But I really think the people, the potential partners that are coming into you, uh, that you're meeting and coming through for you, sorry, uh, they're quite fated in a really, really big way. Now with the Empress card, if this is regarding work, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity at work. There's a lot of clients coming to you, a lot of new clients. You will be very busy. You will be very productive. I feel as though you may have a few meetings with the with your superiors and you will be generating a lot of ideas and you will um, almost be on fire, so to speak, with the Knight of Wands here. And see, it's almost like you're at this meeting here with the Ten of Pentacles. And you, you're just a master at your communication, Virgo. You've got all your thoughts in check. You know all your ideas, you're full of them, share them because they will be well accepted. There's happiness here, there's there's money uh, generated for your, from your ideas here, uh, Virgo. So that's really important because you're definitely in your element. Please communicate anything you need to at work because it will be taken on board. Now moving on, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is money, this is results, this is uh, changes to your earthly realm. The Ten does go back to a one, so that's why I said it could be a meeting, a uh, first time meeting of in-laws if you are recently coupled up with someone, first time meeting their family, having a family reunion that you haven't had in quite a long time. This is a lot of people in your earthly realm here. This is meetings, this is marketplaces, this is potentially someone you could meet at a shopping center where there's a lot of people, at a party, at some sort of event here with pets, children, family members. Again, it could indicate reunions, but this also indicates a lot of money. This could indicate a family trip of some sort and you're all spending a lot of money on this. This could indicate a family property that's being divided in terms of an inheritance. At work, this could indicate that you are generating all those ideas that I've just mentioned and they will be, they're floating around here and they're, they're uh, if your work is commission based, it could land you a lot of uh, incentives, financial incentives, financial rewards, lots of ideas floating around you here.
lots of wealthy people around you here also you know if you are single get out and about there's people that are fated to meet you and I feel as though they're very established if that's what you're looking for that's the kind of people you will attract people that can provide for you almost like this luxury lifestyle lived by the stars so to speak also with the ten of pentacles if you're working in some sort of social media production publications anything where your work is uh, published and put out to the world i feel as though you will be successful in that there's a lot of um drive ambition i'm not sure if you have an agent or someone representing you but i feel as though there's rewards coming to you, financial rewards. Your work will be noticed in a very, very big way with the star card here. One of my favorite cards followed by the Wheel of Fortune here in the deck. The star card is a beautiful card. It signifies fate, fortune, abundance, happiness, love, money, everything that anyone has ever wanted. It's in the star. So that's a really good sign. A lot of fated things this month, Virgo, regarding work and or love or both. And a lot of money you've got the empress and you've got the ten of pentacles there's money there's things coming to you in your earthly realm again this is this could be you shopping with your family you know if you're trying to get pregnant you're shopping for baby clothes baby furniture going to markets catching up with your family conducting a lot of meetings at work most certainly with the king of swords you've got your communications down pat so it's really the time to be not in your head but make those uh, to-do lists because you're very unsettled about doing something and it's something you've been wishing and wanting and hoping for and if it if it's this relationship then I feel like this partner they may already be in your life or you may meet them now but it could certainly be a fire sign fire earth or uh, air so any of those signs that's a lot of signs in here but I mean, we do have the Knight of Wands. Maybe you have two options. Maybe you have the Fire Sign male and the Air Sign male or the Fire Sign female. She's also here, the, fire, uh, the Earth Sign female. So that's that's um, that's quite interesting, actually. But I feel as though you're you, you've got the right judgment about something. And if it's if it's regarding your ambition and your whatever it is that you've been working towards, if this is your if this is what's, I feel as though you have the right judgment about that person as well, that faded person that's around you. They could be around you in your life right now. Regardless, I feel as though you've you've made up the right judgment about this person. I'm just going to plug my camera charger in. That's better. So I feel like you've got you've got your head screwed on. You're really all about the smart decisions this month, Virgo. You you're really on track towards meeting those goals meeting that person etc but moving on we have the knight of wands and this really is this fiery pet energy i was talking about could be a fire sign this could indicate a one night stand also i'm seeing for some of you singles and i'm uh, i don't want to say that this one night stand is fated but something about what will happen is fated it could be how you meet it could be who they are they could be famous that could that could be it most certainly knight of wands is really this fiery this 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 could, this could also be you this is your you don't want to be single anymore and you go out there and you get that relationship or you don't want to be miserable anymore you want you don't want to be not achieving your goals sitting sitting by idly this is you not wanting to do that anymore and they're looking pretty good the star card indicates that you are absolutely on the right track to what it is that you want to achieve with your goals especially with fame you know if it's with a creative pursuit it's in the stars here it's absolutely beautiful there's notoriety there's fame there's you being in the public image there's a lot of people looking at you here see there's a lot of people with the ten of pentacles it really is you're being noticed by a lot of people professionally also and they're willing to reward you in some way you've got the pentacles so it doesn't necessarily have to be money if they could reward you with other things in your physical realm Also with the star card, there is a lot of water in these cards, so it's emotional fulfillment. I feel as like I feel as though your cup is overflowing here with the star card. Again, it could be an air sign that's coming through. Maybe they're making you feel like the star. Maybe you've met someone and you know that they're famous or they're just a star in your eyes. You put them on a pedestal, but I feel as though these people might be putting you on a pedestal and you're a star to them in their eyes. 
And moving on, we have the Ten of Cups, beautiful card of wish fulfillment, happiness, stability, children, family. You've got a lot of people in these cards, Virgo. You're going to be very busy this month. A lot of catch-ups, reunions, if this is what you've been waiting for, you know, if you haven't seen someone and you want to catch up with them, this would be the time to do so. If you want to ask that person out on a date, this would be the time to do so. This is optimal. You might be asked out on a date. And there's a lot of people, a lot of events happening, especially with the Ten of Cups. This is fulfillment. This is what you've been wishing for. This is finally that person that can offer you stability and family and pregnancy and children and a stable happy home even if you're single that could certainly be it but you're very happy here and I feel it's more to do around family I feel like family is a big theme for you family and love and faith and it really is a positive month I have nothing bad to say about this reading but there, there, there could be a choice here between two lovers if you're if you're single this, these could be family members also. This could be brothers, past lovers even coming back to you. Your own children. This could be maybe you have two, two or three children. But there's happiness. It could be your child. Maybe your child comes, uh, rings you and comes up with some news. And it could be that they're pregnant or they've met someone. That's something to watch out for. But I just want to see what this star card is bringing us because it's such a beautiful card. Priestesses, tell us what the star card is bringing, Virgo. What is the star card bringing? Okay, it's bringing solitude. So this could signify that you're no lo you will no longer be single. This could also signify liberation of some sort. Because we have solitude here, but in contrast, we have the Empress. So I feel like this could be an end. This could signal an end to singledom. Solitude can also signify spirituality, you know, with the star card, cosmology, spirituality, whatever it is that you believe in, something higher than yourself. So that's really important. That's lovely. But solitude must also reminds us that maybe it's the time, maybe it's it's in our destiny to be single. Maybe it's in our destiny to be coupled up. But I feel as though changes are being made to your status in a big way with the star card. Fate is changing things. And here she sits, the priestess of solitude, in between the star and the empress. And it could be, again, an air sign. Swords here. Could be a strong air sign that's coming for you, Virgo. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's coming for you this month. But solitude really is a card that reminds us we need to be in our own thoughts and we're in a good mental place. And again, I'm just picking up that it's the judgment. You're, you're forming really good judgments about this other person or this whatever it is that's coming through with the star card. Let's see in terms of career. What is your career bringing you guys? Is creative pursuit... The star is just such a strong influence, so I feel as though there's a lot of recognition. And good fortune, priestess of good fortune, absolutely beautiful. So a lot of luck. I told you, there's a lot of money and rewards coming here. So good times, client dinners, people wanting to take you out, your bosses wanting to show you a good time. You've got a strong foundation here with the pyramid, drinks, things coming to completion, and quite a few things coming to completion, or quite a few ideas in your workplace and here you are harboring them, so it's you that's coming up with them, and it's you that will have have cause to rejoice because of these beautiful ideas in your career. Beautiful reading, Virgo.